plain and simple. Um, you know, we were committed to playing some zone defense and uh, dare them to shoot. Thought they stepped up and made some shots, hit nine of them, a couple of them uncontested. And I think some of those guys got in the rhythm and made us pay. So, you know, they played well. You got to give them credit. Uh, the difference in the game was simple. They had 26 points off our turnovers. We had six off theirs. There's the game. You talk about staying in the zone in the first half. Uh, we'll staying in it? Yeah. Well, we stayed, we, you know, we were. We played 40 minutes of it uh, the first time we played them, and they shot 10 for 25. They, didn't, they shot about the same percentage tonight, just that they hit nine of them in the first half. And, uh, you know, they got in a rhythm. So we decided uh, to get out of it a little bit in the second half. They scored when we played man early. problem with us is our two best perimeter defenders come off the bench for us, and they're not offensive guys. So, um, you know, I decided to sit Rafa because uh, he's got to get healthy. Uh, Know, that he needs a good three to four weeks off, but we don't have three to four weeks to give him, so I decided at halftime to shut him down in the second half. Um, you know, it's the third game in a row. We got off to a, to a bad start, made a run in the second half, and just, you know, fell short. You know, they're a good team. I mean, uh, and if you give good teams too many opportunities, they're going to make you tough. Uh, again, third straight game, bad first half for the team. Uh, what do you think is going on here with these slow starts? Um, I just feel like we got to come out with more energy. Right from the start, it's just we're coming out too flat, myself included. Just got to come out a lot more energy than what we've been doing. Did they shock you guys at all by shooting the ball that well against the zone? I mean, Tiki, who's not, you know, he's not normally known as a big shooter. I mean, he shot five threes in the first half. So. I mean, he was getting open looks. So, I just, anybody can hit open shots when you open. You just got to try and get out and contest it. And he made a couple big shots. Three losses in a row. Well, do you think this team's in any trouble right now? I think we're in trouble, do you? Can you tell me? Well, I mean, I don't think we're in trouble. We lost to the first, second, third place team, and we're in, we're in fourth. We beat all three of them the first time around. So uh, we lose to Stony Brook on Thursday, then maybe we're in trouble. I, I don't think, uh, you know, we're in trouble. There's no, there's no room, uh, there's no time to panic. It's the games that you lose against Stony Brook at home and the game you lose at Maine that you're kicking yourself in the butt uh, right now. Uh, it has nothing to do with losing these last three. We lost to three. You know, good teams. Uh, you know, one of our goals was to play the percentages. Um, and we tried to play the percentages tonight and uh, force them to shoot the ball, and they did. Uh, the, the only the difference between the, our first half zone and our second half zone is our second half zone we got out and contested. And they hit two threes in the second half, but we were already down 16 uh, in the first half. And it also became a very physical game as well, and I thought they handled that better than we did. What do you guys do to group, try to regroup between here and Stony Brook, do you think? Uh, well, I feel like, well, this game is over with now. We just got to worry about Stony Brook the next couple of days and try and get a win down there at their place. Were you okay? I saw you uh, looked like you did something in what, your yeah, right arm? My right shoulder, but yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you.